Morning, everybody. <coughs> Excuse me, Jason Hollis Farms. Y'all don't tell the doctor I'm driving. Oh, I don't think this really counts as driving. I'm just driving from the house up to the barn. I ain't getting on the highway. Even though I'm about to start going crazy. Because I can't do nothing. Boy, I knew this is going to be the hardest part. It wasn't going to be the pain, the neck brace, or whatever. Just the fact of not being able to do anything. So Anyway, and Sissy's got a lot she needs to get done. She can't just ride me around all the time. So, I don't know, but I am pretty, I was, it's 10 o'clock and I'm just coming out of the house. I was sore, I got up this morning about six, and man, I was just sore, and I think it was from riding a lot yesterday. But, anyway, got on my medicine, got all that done, ate a little bit, and just kind of sat around a little while, watched a little YouTube, and, uh, I decided to come up here for a little bit and just feel like I'm doing something. I'm going to walk a little bit here in a little while. I have gained some weight. My goodness. I think it's kind of normal for from a surgery. One, number one, you ain't doing nothing like I usually am. Two, I've been eating a lot. But three, holding a lot of fluids in and stuff after the surgery. So it's just, just going to... It's hard to watch you eat and you need to eat and I really hadn't been eating that much it's just I ain't doing nothing to work it off so we will uh I am ready to start that though I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk here in a little bit and I'll carry y'all with me and, and kind of see how that feels I don't think that'll hurt anything man I can't be I done nearly gained everything back I lost and boy that's hard to deal with but anyway we'll see what we can get into today Alright, so me and Cody's up here at the barn. Tell you what, you hold it with both hands and I'll, well, you can do that. Stick it in there first. He's out of gas and I can't help him. And it happened to be a full, just pull back, pull back. All right, you guys, it'll be all right. Just got air in it. Mm -hmm. Pull it all the way back and wrap your hand around the hand now. Any coming out? Okay. You're going to have to pick up. You ain't, ain't got to pour it all in there. Just uh, now you got it good. Can you get your left foot up there on the forward? Hang on, let me turn the wheels. Keep pulling. Can you get up there? Good, now you can hold it. Oh, you pour the lighter it's gonna get. Right. Keep picking up, pick up, pick up with your right hand. Let her go. There you go. It ought to hold it because it was about out, wasn't it? I don't know. Wasn't the light on? Hey, one bar. I don't know how big it's. Didn't have any bars. I did. It might hold it all. Alright, so mine's out. We're going to put the rest in there in case we need it. Put some of it in there anyway. Alright, so nothing exciting yet. Ate some lunch. Said, "What I have for breakfast? Had a heated up a sausage cheese ball from the bakery for breakfast. Drank a Dr. Pepper. I am gaining weight, but I have actually lost three or four pounds. It's starting to shed some of its fluid now. Now I just got to do a little bit and uh, watch what I eat. I ate jerky, some deer jerky, and a few little wheat crackers." for lunch but where the downfall there was is I drank a coke but you know hard to do completely right uh, Cody got the four wheeler filled with gas I can't I just want to help so much and I just can't I can make myself not touch 
I drove my truck back and forth to the barn twice. Reckon when I'm gonna get in trouble for that. I don't think it matters as long as you don't turn your head. I actually rode the forward of the house and back to the barn one time. Sat in the truck for about an hour and watched YouTube with it running. Golly, this is rough. Now I am walking, trying to do a little exercise. I want to be smooth about it though. My neck's pretty sore. Oh, uh, I'm not doing too much. I just got to keep going. Oh, they gave me this thing to help you breathing, and I forgot about it. I just started that this morning. Seems like so much you got to do. Uh, one of them breathing things where you inhale so much and make this little bobber thing go up. You do that two or three times. So do it several times a day. So that'll be something else we get to do. Whew, ain't so much you can do when you can't do nothing. And you're used to doing everything. But I'm walking to the mailbox. See what's in there. They walk on around to the brown house. It's cool today. Very nice. And then I'm going to end up back at the house. Just trying to do right as much as possible. I don't want to do this but one time. Anyway, that's where we're at so far today. All right, I made it around here to the, to the brown house. Try to at least get a half to a mile done. Oh, one reason I was just thinking about something, I was thinking about commitment. Had had baseball on my mind, it's little league baseball mind, and started thinking about commitment. And uh, I think one reason I'm gonna try to do so good on what the doctor says on this, one, I don't wanna do it two times. The main reason is I can't just turn around. I have to, I'm getting used to turning it without moving my head. I thought I heard something behind me, but the uh, main reason is when I woke up good, and I questioned it for a little while, but I think it's true now. I'm pretty sure I've been on so much medicine, it's hard to say, but um, I hadn't had any numbness but one time in my right arm, and I'm holding this camera with my right arm now. And the position I'm holding it in, normally it would have done been numb, so. That's probably the biggest reason is I'm going to try to guide a battle through this, whatever they say, and just deal with it. Even if it makes my mind go crazy, i got to deal with it because I am pure, pretty sure we are, for the most part, fixed. I believe that's just, it'll be worth these two weeks wearing this neck brace and it doing exactly right and hopefully get turned loose on some stuff. And, I don't have to pick up anything. Oh, I can deal with that part of it. Uh, the hardest part is not being able to drive and completely depending on somebody to do stuff for me. Cody's a big help and don't mind. Sissy, Sissy has been super with me. And uh, she always will be, but she's got things that she's got to do and needs to do. And I know she don't want to just ride me around, you know. I know tomorrow, we're not gonna to go today because it rains so much, but as much as the sun's out today, if we don't get any rain, I need to ride over to Mississippi tomorrow. I may holler at Brian or somebody and get them to carry me where she can continue on with her day. But she'll do it if I ask her to. Had a lot of, a lot of good help here at the house. Cody's been good with the dogs and all. Tell you, I'm pretty weak though. Now I'm holding the camera with the left arm. It's getting pretty tired. Not going to sleep, just tired. A lot of good health though. We're gonna make it. We're gonna be all right. I don't want to do too much though, cause I don't want to get this thing too sore. It's amazing what goes on just walking and even sleeping. I woke up this morning hurting or sore, whatever you want to call it. I got up about. I ain't been setting no alarm. I was up 5:30 or 6. I didn't go to bed at midnight. I try to get just really tired before I try to go to sleep or I go on to sleep, but it's just hard to be comfortable. Been sitting, I got one of them beds that raises up. I've been raising it up and kind of kind of sleeping like you would in a recliner or something, having more pressure going down on your butt instead of laying down in your all that pressure 
on your back and your neck, but kind of like you're sitting down and you're just kind of the back of the bed is just kind of holding me up instead of really laying on it. And that's helped a lot. But you can only do so much of that. Anywho, anywho, I ain't never said that, but anyway. Fixing to, uh, I think I'm fixing to go down to the house and cool it for a little while. Several hours before dark, I told Cody, Cody's down there cooling it for a little bit, and then we'll come back out. And he's already watered the mules and horses. All we lack really, we got to do is take care of PJ, and uh, he's been doing really good helping me with her and uh, the other dogs. So, this looks like this is. It ain't gonna be the extent of my day every day, but a lot of days it look like it is. I'll probably, I'll probably drive before it look too long, but just have to see how that goes. All right, y'all, so I've been in the house a while. Boy, it's a rough day to be up and not be able to do nothing. It is nice today. I don't think it got over 80 today. Had a good breeze. I just trying to lay around and do right. Ain't far from supper time. Cody's on his four wheeler. He come up here and he's letting PJ out and we're gonna feed her. See her for a minute. Then it's gonna be about time to eat supper. Man, we about a I guess we're nearly a week into this now, so another another week of it for sure Golly. i'm trying to do right cody wanting to do some stuff and I just can't do a lot of it can't take a chance on this right here we got to get right get back to normal or as close to normal hopefully better if this soreness will go away on my neck i believe we're just gonna be better Whew, i gotta get my breath back though i guarantee you that what you doing girl what you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Come here. Come on. What you been doing? Come here. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Come on. All right. Got PJ taken care of. Cody's headed back down to the house. And I'm walking back down to the house. Got that little help thing app that's on your phone when you get it. I guess it's pretty accurate. It's showing I've been about three quarters of a mile so far. So by the time I get down to the house and whatnot and finish the day, I'll probably have close to a mile in. So that's not too bad. A few days after neck surgery, so your neck is used so much more than you know. No, it is. I think this would probably be easier than lower back surgery, but uh. Anyway, that's where we're at. I need to ride to Mississippi tomorrow. See how much it's dried. Try to talk CC in that tomorrow. Somebody carry me down there. Anyway, that may be all I got. That's about all I'm going to do today. Gonna go sit down and try to keep healing. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.